Tupamaros, also known as the MLNT, was a left-wing urban guerrilla group in Uruguay in the 1960s and 70s. The MLNT is inextricably linked to its most important leader, Raw L. Sendic, and his brand of social politics. Jose Copyright Magica, current president of Uruguay, was also a member. Creation The Chpmaro movement was named after the revolutionary Tarpac Amaratu, who in 1780 led a major indigenous revolt against the viceroyalty of Peru. Its origins lie in the union between the Movimiento de Apuayo al Campesino, members of trade unions founded by Sendic in poverty stricken rural zones, and radicalized cells of the Socialist Party of Uruguay. The movement began by staging the robbing of banks, gun clubs, and other businesses in the early 1960s, then distributing stolen food and money among the poor in Montevideo. It took his slogan words divide us. Action unites us. At the beginning, it abstained from armed actions and violence. Considering themselves not a guerrilla group but a political movement. In June 1968, President Jorge Pacheco, trying to suppress labor unrest, enforced a state of emergency and repealed all constitutional safeguards. The government imprisoned political dissidents, used torture during interrogations and brutally repressed demonstrations. The Chipmoreau movement engaged then in political kidnappings, armed propaganda, and assassinations. Of particular note are the kidnapping of powerful bank manager Ulysses Pereira Reverbal and of the British ambassador to Uruguay, Jeffrey Jackson, as well as the assassination of Dan Mitrian, an American Federal Bureau of Investigation agent whom the Tupamaros learned was advising the Uruguayan police in riot control and other security work. The Tupamaros peaked as an insurgent force in 1970 and 1971. During this period they made liberal use of their car al CEL del Pueblo where they held those that they kidnapped and interrogated them, before making the results of these interviews public. A number of these hostages was later ransomed for considerable sums of money, including the Brazilian consul in Montevideo, Aloisio Dias Gomide. In September 1971 over 100 imprisoned Tupamaros escaped the Punta Carretas prison by digging a hole across their cells and then a tunnel that led from the floor of one ground-level cell to the living room of a nearby home. As a result of this, the government summoned a military to prepare a counter-insurgency campaign to suppress the MLN. Nonetheless, in 1972 the group was quickly crippled by a series of events. First, it had started to engage in terrorist tactics since 1970, a choice that weakened its popular support. Second, the group responded to the assassination and or disappearance of four Tupamaros on the part of illegal parapolice squads with a wave of high-profile assassinations that concentrated political support against them. Later on, the MLN directly attacked the military and killed a number of soldiers. The army's response was swift. It included the heavy use of torture and the flipping of high-ranking Tupamaros, ha copyright Gturamodio par copyright res, towards collaborating with them. The Tupamaros collapsed in mid-1972, with the army killing many of them and capturing a majority of the rest. Shortly after defeating the MLN the military successively confronted the independence of the judiciary in October 1972, of the civilian executive branch in February 1973, and lastly the independence of the parliament in June 1973. On this latter occasion it completed its coup d'état copyright tat by deploying armored vehicles in the capital and shutting down the legislative branch. Nine Tupamaros were especially chosen to remain in squalid conditions, including Sendic, Fernandez Huidobro, Magica, Engela, and Rosenkoff. They remained there until the restoration of liberal democracy in Uruguay in 1985. During the intervening years the military regime killed and disappeared additional numbers of people, focusing particularly on the Communist Party of Uruguay. List of attacks, July 31, 1970, kidnapping of USAID Office of Public Safety Advisor, former FBI agent, and former Indiana Police Officer Dan Mitrian, who was executed on August 10, 31 July 1970, kidnapping of the Brazilian Consul Aloisio Dias Gomide released on February 21, 1971 for ransom. August 7, 1970, kidnapping of U.S. agronomist Dr. Claude Fly, 
released on March 21, 1971 after a health crisis following a heart attack inside the People's Prison. September 29, 1970, bombing of the Carrasco Bowling Club, gravely injuring the elderly caretaker Hilaria Ibarra. January 8, 1971, kidnapping of the British ambassador Geoffrey Jackson, December 21, 1971, killing of rural labourer Pascasio Barras by sodium pentothal injection, April 18, 1972, four Uruguayan army soldiers killed by machine gun fire while watching over the house of the commander-in-chief of the army, General Florencio Gravener. Notable members, Raw L. Sendic, most widely respected founder and leader of the group. Famous for his self-effacing, timid nature. A member of the nine hostages kept under duress between 1972-85. Eleuterio Fernandez Huidobro, a member of the nine hostages and a prominent politician beginning in the mid-1990s. Joseph Copyright Magica, a member of the nine. Inaugurated as President of Uruguay in March 2010. Julio Marinales, a member of the Nine Hostages. Jorge Manra, a member of the Nine Hostages. Ha Copyright Gteramodio Pa Copyright Res, the only prominent and founding member of the Tupamaros to have defected to the government side. He escaped to Spain in 1973 and only resurfaced in the public eye in 2013. Mauricio Rosenkopf, a member of the Nine Hostages, and a prominent writer and playwright after leaving prison. Henry Engeler, a member of the Nine Hostages. Left for Sweden post-prison and became a prominent medical researcher. Adolfo Wazem, a member of the Nine Hostages. Died of cancer before liberation. Jorge Zabolza, the youngest of the Nine Hostages. Famous in Uruguay for his continued radical militancy well into the present day. See also, Movimiento de Participación Cube den Popular, References. External links, Tupamaros, Tupamaros, Broad Front Coalition, List of Attacks, Attacks Attributed to the Tupamaros on the Start Database.